Throughout 87 years of life, Frené Selleck miraculously survived seven motor vehicle accidents, narrowly escaping death each and every time. Starting in his early 30s, Selleck managed to survive a train, plane, as well as several bus and car accidents and malfunctions. While the exact timeline was not independently verified, he has gained fame as either the luckiest or unluckiest man in the world. Ferne Selleck, known as the world's luckiest man, lived from June 1929 to November 2016. As a music teacher in Croatia, his life was ordinary until his first near-death experience in 1962. Selek was involved in a train accident when it derailed and sank into a freezing river. According to Selek, 17 passengers died, but he managed to make it to shore despite having a broken arm, bruises, and hypothermia. In the following year, Selek was entangled in another freak accident. According to Selek, during his first and only plane trip, the door malfunctioned and opened mid-flight. He miraculously cheated death by landing on a haystack, but sadly, the other 19 passengers did not survive. Yet, this plane crash was never officially reported, and there are no records of it in Croatia. A few years later in 1966, Selek was on a bus that skidded off the road and plummeted into a river. Four people drowned, but he swam to safety with minor cuts and bruises. Four years after the bus accident, his car caught on fire while he was driving. Luckily, he managed to escape before his fuel tank burst into flames. Three years later, Selek experienced another car accident. In 1973, a malfunctioning fuel pump caused the hot fuel to spread over the car, leading to a fire. Once again, he escaped death, but all the hair on his head was burnt off. His sixth near-death encounter occurred a couple of years later in 1995. A bus crashed into Selek, yet he was able to walk away from the collision with minor injuries. A year later, Selek was in another potentially fatal car accident. While driving through a mountain curve, he noticed a United Nations truck coming towards him. Selek dodged the truck but crashed through a guardrail, falling 300 feet or 90 meters. At the last moment, Selek jumped out of his car and managed to land on a tree. He stayed on that tree, watching his car fall and explode. In 2003, just two days before his birthday, Selek experienced his last stroke of luck. He won 600,000 pounds on his first lottery ticket in Croatia. With his winnings, Selek bought two new homes and a speedboat. Although, in 2010, he sold his new homes and opted to live a frugal lifestyle with his fifth wife. He decided to use the remaining money on his friends and family. All of Selek's accidents were never independently verified, and his timeline was inconsistent. There are doubts that any of these events happened at all. Ripley's Believe It or Not claimed that Selek was known to exaggerate his ordeals and their effects. While people are debating whether he is the luckiest or unluckiest man, Frene Selek explained in a Telegraph article, quote, I never thought I was lucky to survive all my brushes with death. I thought I was unlucky to be in them in the first place, unquote. Let me know in the comments whether you think he's the luckiest or unluckiest man, or if you think these events ever happened at all. I would really appreciate it if you could throw this video a like and subscribe. All the sources are in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video and I would like to thank you for watching.